Welcome back to Factorio C Block and TSM, episode number 277. Um, and today we have the joy of uh, doing a voiceover because um, I rebooted and OBS screwed me up. Now I've just realized that our Cobalt Tite um, is missing uh, one of its products, um, in particular the sodium carbonate. Uh, we have some delivered, so I just need to work out a way to... Um, oh, and here it is. <laughs> There's some more, or should I say, because for some reason I set this up as a partial um, train. I can't remember what that reason is just now, but um, I'm sure it will be fine. So, um, yeah, let's set up another uh, line of... Um, another output line from the warehouse for the um, sodium carbonate. Uh, coming out here should probably be fine. And uh, we have to come in down. Probably going into the gas out is no good because we have to actually do something with those gases. So that will be a lot better. got to make some some use of those gases which we'll do in a moment but for now let's set uh, let's set these outputs to the sodium carbonate like so and there we go we're finally producing um, the sodium the sodium so, sodium cobaltate why can't I speak this morning uh, never mind. Okay, so um, we need to do something with these gases. We've got oxygen and carbon dioxide. Um, it's manufacturing now, but obviously the chem plant is going to get flooded with those gas. In fact, it already is flooded with those gas. Um, we can just obviously uh, store up and extract the oxygen, that's probably handy. Um, not sure what I want to do with the carbon dioxide. Just checking what we can use the carbon dioxide for. Um, none of these... Uh, it's not like we can reuse it here, so I might... I think I just decide to, um, well, if we had some sodium, we could do something with it, but we don't. So um, it's just sort of wasteful. <laughs> I mean, maybe we could specially uh, make some out of the water and refine it, but um, it just creates additional things to get rid of. So I think um, having gone through this whole list, my best option really is just to uh, uh, avoid it. I'm just having a quick look if I was using carbon dioxide somewhere else, especially if it was close by. But um, we don't appear to be actually. It's certainly not unless uh, not close by. But way over here, we've, we've already got carbon coming in, providing ample carbon dioxide, so um, carbon charcoal, charcoal to adequate carbon dioxide. And it's a long way over, so yeah. After all of that, I think I'm just going to come back here and void it anyway. Um, why not? So... Uh, let's get on with it. Make a bit of a gap to put a flare stack into. And yeah, as expected, I have completely um, <laughs> filled up my inventory. I just decide to use a little bit of uh, landfill to, uh, because we don't really need it. And um, there's only sort of a stack of 90. If we get rid of 90, we have enough to... Um, oh, we'll have a, that's the end of the stack. We'll have enough room to 
be able to pick this stuff up. So doing a little bit of tidying up of our excess uh, water patches. Um, there you go. Uh, yeah, just give them all my cabal, uh, cobalt sodium, what is it? Anyway, um, it's given us enough room to put a flare stack in now, and that's that was the main thing that we were after. Just out of power range, of course, but we can get away with a tiny medium pole there. Um, and now we're just looking for uh, the best place to put in the O2 um, takeaway. Ah, oh, fixing. Yeah, I, I actually didn't need those. Um, that extra insertion of um, a landfill there was, wasn't actually necessary, but um, yeah, I'm just looking for a, an oxygen to copy. Um, which this one is not, uh, but probably uh, realizing this is probably the best place to have the oxygen um, picked up from. And yes, there's an interesting seam issue there. Uh, never mind. Um, right, let's get a copy, not of that, but of a um, one with tanks, and preferably O2, so like this one just above, although it has two, uh, we can quickly get rid of one, I guess. Perfect. Um, right, let's just get rid of some of the stuff that we don't need. Uh, work out which one is the O2. We'll work out where we want the pipes after this is in. Now, O2. Right, the bottom ones are the O2, so we don't need these top ones. Um, and there's no power coming in there. Let's get rid of the excess wires and the excess... Um, Questers. Uh, turn those around. So we're getting rid of the oxygen. Um, oh, and the condition needs to be greater than 100k or even 200k. 100 is probably sufficient. Um, and now I need to remember uh, what I, I know that I had a special for oxygen. I didn't use an empty tanker oxygen symbol, so um, just checking what those symbols actually were. Uh, as you can see, yes, the oxygen oxygen was only used for the final supply, and I was using one of these uh, TSM icons, which, to be honest, just ends up being a little bit more confusing than um, it perhaps otherwise was. Um, and yeah, it's using the old uh, Bob symbols, I think, but these ones didn't get removed. They were created at the beginning of the game, so now I have them. I guess. And there we have it, the empty oxygen ordered. Just checking. Um, okay. Uh, 
I actually see that it looks like I've missed a green wire there. So um, there'll be something I can pick up from and use to correct at the beginning of the next episode, I guess, if I don't correct it um, this time. I have to go back there because I'm going back with uh, the O2 now. Work out where we want to bring this. Um, so yeah, somewhere around about here. Gave a shot slightly. There we go. And how many of these we got? Nine. So they're building up slowly, but we don't need a huge stack of these. So let's cut it down to something more reasonable. Uh, how many do we actually need? We need 10 per satellite. So yeah, as long as we're producing sort of or so a minute that should be adequate if it's 10 per satellite perhaps I want more in the train um, like a whole row and that can just um, produce now All right, let's um, look into the radar fives then. I mean, we have all the products in the Make Everything to do it, but it would be kind of awkward having a dedicated production line set up um, in the from the Make Everything. So I don't really want to do that. Uh, just a quick fix up here. Don't need both of those. We do need another one just here though, so uh, let's get a little bit of landfill and put in another chain signal just there. Now we can start the radar fives. Yeah, before all this gets filled out, let's just get rid of the... Uh, I mean, we might need some of these belts later, but um, we'll work that out as we go. It's a bit, e a bit easier for me. Turn on our bots. I know we're going to need a lot of product here, so... why I initially left all of the requesters. I'm not sure if, if that's the way that we want to go. I mean, the design is basically we need radars, radar 2, radar 3, radar 4, radar 5, capable of feeding to each other. Kind of center this so it looks better, I suppose. <laughs> not that it really matters. Yeah, radar. Just giving them their, their recipes. And a simple fast inserter should do between these. We only need five per satellite. Um, it's a fairly simple product list as is that one, slightly more here, um, again fairly simple, the titanium this time, uh, bearings and yeah so I mean, we are already making bearings and, and the 
um, the wheels, the gear wheels, um, but we might as well just make them here again for our production. Um, I'm thinking though that because there's so many items, I'm just going to go with a, a direct circuit order for these. Uh, I was thinking of recreating it from scratch and then decide maybe I'll get a copy from somewhere else that I'm doing it. Um, like here, except those are actually using requesters, so that's not going to work. But up here we are using the direct circuit for the green circuit, so let's start. Let's copy that one. Um, probably turn off the oh, let's wire it up first partially wire it up as long as it doesn't reach the train station it's not going to broadcast so we, we then turn off the combinator and then connect it up because this is not exactly what we want um, Okay, so this one, I was doing it to 4,000. Maybe it was actually a better idea to copy a different one where I've got this sort of minus 20,000 that I like to use. Um, to change this up. We need the iron and the basic circuit board our first radar so uh, those two are definitely correct we probably don't need those other items and yes I've decided to change this to the 20,000 which basically gives us about a 4,000 um, buffer before we reorder uh, and yeah, let's get rid of these items that we've got no demonstration that we need. Turn it on, let these things... Oh, we need power, of course. We can get away with a cheap... Um, well, cheaper pole, so we may as well. And the trains are on the way. Fantastic. So... Um, Iron gear wheel, the easiest way to handle this is just to have another uh, assembly machine nice and close and um, direct feed the results in iron gears. Uh, just have the iron come by. So we need the iron and the Final out, output as well. Grab an inserter. What does it use? Two per plate. So, you yeah, know, the basic inserter should be fine. We're not... Um, we, we probably don't actually need uh, level four machines here. <laughs> but um, I'm not making a point of carrying anything smaller than that. So uh, there you go. And yes, so the iron should be able to come past, so it'll deliver to the gear wheels and excess will go past. Um, that's slightly unfortunate as we have to then angle back. And so I'll have to do the same thing with um, The, so that, that first one would have been the, the circuits, or needs to be the circuits. And the next one through can be the iron. Oops. Let's just have this join its friend. Kind of would have been better had we had these at the top, but um, we may end up doing that anyway. 
for now, just let's get this one going. So we're obviously going to need some power over there. Let's drag some of these uh, basic big poles over to give us the power. And then we should be able to supply all of this with one of our Mark IV medium poles. And there you go, the first radar done. So what do we need for the second radar? It's very similar, except it's steel. We need steel gear wheels. And the green circuits this time. Um, but there's not quite enough room there, especially with that <coughs> pole where it is. So positioning it down there will still cover everything. Um, <clears throat> Maybe we need to go to the other side for the steel. Um, and then yeah, now I realise. <clears throat> well, a we'll put the we'll put the new products into our um, direct circuit order. doesn't look like we've got the green circuits no they're being held up by our lack of uh, the solder coils which comes back to the zinc which apparently there's only one left in the order now for the zinc so um, we'll see but it doesn't appear that my existing supply of the crystal catalyst is actually sufficient so that's definitely going to be Something we have to deal with very soon, otherwise none of these things we've built will work at all. And that's definitely not the, the idea. Right, well you basically may as well just pick these up. And yeah, we can use this rearrangement as a time to um, fix how these guys are coming down like so and like so and then get rid of the excess back in there it's useful to carry these for some of the odd items that I just need one of that I can handcraft so now we need um, green circuits and steel. This one will have to be the green circuits. And um, that's right because we swapped the thingies over. So just getting aligned with where we have to have our belts. fairly easy to connect this up although since we have no green circuits um, supplied uh, unfortunately we won't get anything else other than beyond the um, basic radars built this one's the steel of course Okay, so now we need um, brass gear wheels, but steel bearings. And aluminium. So it starts to get a little bit more complicated for um, the Radar 3. But we, I think we can reuse our uh, steel line here to make the bearings. No need to run a separate belt down. Though, are we going to have enough room to fit everything 
or are the radar threes? That's the real question. So if we make the bearings there and the, well, the ball bearings and the, and the bearings themselves there, um, easy enough to connect up. the pickup uh, have it drop on the near side so that we can use another oh yeah I forgot about that one let's uh, pick up so there we go um, so this gives us plenty of space to put in the um, brass so we need aluminium and brass the brass gear wheels can go on this um, belt as well. Brass plate, just checking. I'm not quite sure what else I thought I was going to need for brass gear wheels other than brass plate, but it certainly isn't aluminium. Um, so I'm just trying to work out how I would fit all of these ingredients in but um, the aluminium plate and the advanced circuit it sort of suggests we're going to need perhaps three extra belts coming in uh, We need that so let's just put our brass gears here and then the belt in can just go straight into the top of that Brass to our list. Minus 20,000 again, of course. Um, yeah, that can just be brass and brass. Brass is on the way, so that's great. Add some inserters. From there, drop off far, that's great. Uh, we need to extend the power. So I can make use of, I oh know, a bigger one up there will work. Yep, fantastic. Um, so, do I want one or do I want two more belts here? That's really the question, isn't it? We can certainly reach from this um, extended position. Um, aluminium and advanced circuits. Let's add them in as well. Aluminium. Now we can start using the other side, I guess. Although the fact that we're already encroaching into um, the fours is a bit problematic, but. We'll see what we do about that in a moment. So yeah, that one can be for the red circuits. Again, another 
thing that's not going to get delivered just at the moment. And your red circuits and your red circuits. These others only need one product, so they should be a little bit easier. Well, one sort of plate. So um, we do end up going all the way up to um, the advanced circuits, though. Hmm. Titanium bearing, titanium gear wheel. I'm just checking to make sure that I can do it with just one product, unlike the Radar 3s that need these multitude. And then I decide, after all of that, let's make it a joint aluminium uh, red circuit belt, just to uh, not encroach so much. It should have enough. Um, throughput to be able to make this work. Right, so that's radars uh, 1, 2, and 3. Uh, yeah, I'm just going off on a tangent talking about I allocated before this episode a space for the um, crystal catalyst. I'm just checking where it's up to. Because until this actually works, we're not going to, there you go, 3.7k. It is working, but it's a bit slow. Until it, we're going to need some greater volume to handle um, the factory's demand, it seems. So we need a dedicated extra area for it. Um, okay, so we're doing titanium now. Um, yeah, we can put it on the side. Although the issue now is I've got to find a place to locate the um, the outputs, the two outputs, plus the titanium itself. So if I'm outputting to where the titanium is, I've got to put the titanium somewhere. Bit of a conundrum. So my initial thought on this is we'll leave a little bit more space. We will move all of the um, output down here as um, titanium and then we'll have to try and push the output from above onto this now clear belt um, which is still a little bit cramped and messy because we still need the titanium for the radar itself. So we need to provide a little bit more space. So that now I can um, get the titanium down to the radar and rely on inserter tricks to get beyond all of that um, and then just to be a bit tidier I decide I need to um, provide a little bit more space for and a little bit more space up there um, I think I totally rearranged this before I'm finished anyway. Um, that's what happens when you're in the middle of a design 
and you remember what you did afterwards because you needed to do a voiceover later on. <laughs> uh, okay, so that one can be for the processing units. And actually, I probably don't even need a double line of processing units. This one's for the titanium. just having a think about what we needed to do but yeah we'll definitely need a double uh, output for the titanium but the processing units um, I might start with telling it to fill um, this filter but I think I come back in a bit and just cut it down to one and we're going to reorganize this titanium all over again so it really doesn't make sense to do exactly what we're doing. I think. Um, I'm not actually sure why I keep insisting on using a um, splitter here because we don't actually need to split anything. We can just. Um, redirect the belt and just jump over those guys The, the level 4 assembly machines it might even pay me and I think this is what I decide to do just to, it's not really worth building a um, another one of my special stops to call goods directly from the make everything I'll just pop down there um, refill my basic resources and uh, keep manually building this given that it is a fairly simple build. So let's call the train. Come on, train. <laughs> uh, yeah, I decided to cut, make sure I cut down on that landfill. Uh, since I had 10,000 ordered, which would be a bit excessive. Let's make it 3,000. We don't need a whole lot of landfill now. I think I must have done that for uh, filling out the uh, new place for the crystal catalyst. Maybe radar as well. So stop the train. Um, yeah, let's possibly get 20 rather than just 10 this time of those assembly machines since we're using quite a few of them and perhaps increase our um, express belt up to 400 just wait until they arrive so we're at 380 just waiting for the last 20 there we go I think that is everything. Let's head back. Um, back to, say, there. Didn't matter exactly, I guess.
short scenic tour of my factory. And here we are. Whoops, wrong direction. <laughs> right, okay. Bots, do your thing. Okay, so you are titanium uh, bearing. Ball bearing. You're the titanium bearing. And you are the titanium gear. And that takes care of... Uh, all those products, although, of course, um, as I'm going to notice shortly, we need lubricant. So that's something else we're going to have to supply. I'm going to have to build um, more lubricant as well. The current, <laughs> the current supply is woefully inadequate. how I want to do these what I was looking at doing before was probably better but never mind um, and we'll place them far a couple more inserters drop there and uh, one more here up from above and drop near that should work um, I am wondering if that no it should work yeah just looks a bit odd so that should be all the products um, going into there the blue circuits coming in so finally um, we just basically need to do the same thing with the nitinol and um, the advanced processing units so let's just make a copy of what we've just done be as good as anything always um, we could always have bent the inserter or in this case I want to use a one of my fancy long distance uh, undergrounds which doesn't reach by one would you believe it so we're gonna have to compact everything slightly Um, which actually is easy enough if I take that out and um, I, I can then just squeeze the bearing ball and the bearings themselves slightly closer together and provide a little bit of room in there for um, I don't actually need that belt until it gets right down to where we're putting the completed ball bearings in. But yeah, we just put that in like so. Um, and then an inserter that goes from there to there. It'll actually be faster as well. So it's probably in all ways a good thing. resetting these to their uh, nitinol equivalents probably should have done the same thing here so that the inserter moved faster but I don't think I do uh, and then yeah we need to have some way of getting our uh, lubricant in the null 
bearing and make this the Nitin Ol um, gear wheel. Which actually looks a lot like the original um, iron one. <laughs> the, the fancy end of tech one, and it looks exactly like your starting one. Well, not exactly, but you know what I mean. So that, therefore, is that. Um, two more products need to come out. Um, yeah, here I've decided to cut it down because it's only one side of the belt. That's going to get the processing units. And we'll do the same with the advanced processing units. I could actually remove one of these inserters, but I'm not going to. just in case I decide to change it again later on. And <laughs> I decide to straighten this one up, which I haven't done for the Radar 4s, but so be it. I could always come back and do that later, I suppose. Um, okay, so... We need some power. That seems to capture everything. Um, we need to add these ingredients into the direct circuit. So, uh, nit and all. Oh, the titanium, first of all, yes. And the processing units. And then the um, advanced processing units in Nitinol. The Nitinol in first. And the advanced processing units. I am going to set this to a slightly different value. Uh, just because, well, they're in pretty short supply, so we don't need a huge buffer of them sitting here. Um, and there's the titanium already coming in. So yes, um, the lubricant. We need to get some lubricant in here. Which means we need to use more landfill. Uh, yeah, we're not going to need water here, so I'll just get rid of all of it. <laughs> Um, and somewhere just from around here is probably about where we want to put the um, the lubricant train coming in. Now I need to just check, is it a one carriage train or a two carriage train? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, Looks like it's supplying to two, but let's just see what the train actually looks like. Uh, yeah, it's got two. So our standard um, straight in from the side should work. If we did basically a copy of this one for example make it lubricant uh, maybe drop it a little bit um, yeah something like that should do don't need that extra pole Change this to lubricant. And these to lubricant. Um, and connect 
Connect the pipes. And yeah, I think we're short on lubricant, so we might not get this for a small time, but um, we will see. But otherwise, that is our Radar 5s done. Um, just need somewhere to connect, uh, collect them. And yeah, we can probably use this um, design that we've been using for all the other parts. Just need to move um, this inserter up slightly. Um, I've got a slightly weird arrangement down there, but never mind. Now, do we go to the side or do we go straight down? That's the question. If we were to do that, we wouldn't be able to get to that corner piece, so it's not ideal. Um, yeah, and we, we, that is potentially a, a route that we want to take. So instead of going um, to the side, it's definitely better to go straight down in this case. And we'll man, manually um, just build this as well. There you go. It's pretty easy to do. Uh, we're going to need a few extra chain um, signals. And that one has to be a normal signal, and that should uh, cater to our entire uh, line there. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. And let's head off down to the Crystal Catalyst for the remaining, um, well, let's make a start. We probably won't have time to finish it, but it's worth making a start. So first of all, we know we're going to want the charcoal, um, filters. So we're definitely going to need an in. Let's try and find an uncluttered one. This looks pretty good. Something like that. I'm not sure if I want the radar or not. Uh, it's probably not a terrible place for a radar, but I guess we'll take it off for now. Um, yes, once again, let's clear out all of this excess that I've allowed my bots to build because it might just be the one, uh, just the... Um, charcoal that we bring in here. We may not need all the rest of this. Uh, yeah, let's tidy up the poles a little bit. Put a Mark IV in here. It's a lot tidier. where we've got the requester, change this to charcoal. Um, which takes me a moment to remember where it is, but there we go, the charcoal. Uh, we can probably change that reorder point down a little bit. Um, we don't need a stock of 16,000 sitting in this warehouse. be trains on the way uh, yeah we've already got the P set, set up we don't need it here it's trains on the way um, is less than P then order charcoal now we'll just copy the other symbol in there you go 
It's already ordered. Fantastic. Now, um, we're not going to be trying to do the just use mud um, that's on supply because we're actually starting to get low. Um, in fact, we are low on the mud supply. So I'm going to use the underwater um, dredging pump, sea bottom pump, whatever they call them, uh, to pull these up. Um, into a washing machine to make our um, viscous or heavy or whatever it is, mud water. Um, so yes, yeah, viscous mud water, we need to dredge that up. Uh, if I can find where the pumps are. For this process, uh, there they are. Yes, so I'll make one of the seafloor ones. Um, may as well go there. Side. Let's bring this in a little bit tighter. Probably move the C, the normal um, pump down one. And we can probably just bleed off the gas. Um, right, just trying to just check what we need for the crystal catalyst and it appears you need a capital C to find it if you type in crystal but, um, so we need the crystal seedling we need crystal slurry uh, and that probably is the formula that we want to use um, so crystal dust and sulfuric acid And the crystal dust is just from the geodes. Uh, the geodes take the heavy mud water and come out with all of these. So we don't need to get too elaborate with this. So, all right, we're, we're getting the right water out. Um, the heavy mud water goes directly into these geodes. So all we need is washing plants, enough to process the output from our first washing plant. plants yep I do Um, and so we just need to get um, match the piping now. We can't turn this around in a way to just have the water go up once for every two. So unfortunately, we're just going to have to do a bit of a um, skip across. Not 
exactly sure what I'm looking up here, just whether they produce mud or not, I suppose. Anyway, we... Oh, no, I was looking up the number. So, yes, they... The first one produces 200, and these use um, exactly uh, 40 um, in the same time frame. So I need five of them. That's what I was checking. And my pipe laying is appalling. <laughs> recipes. There we go. Got there in the end. So we really want to see how many of these we can slap down, I guess. Um, all right, go there, there. might be too close but we can always do something about the bottom pump so let's just stamp it in anyway um, there should do there um, just wondering if I need more space I probably don't that should be fine. This is how we fix the pipe. Seeing how much space I actually have left. Oops, that's the wrong direction. I mean, the... the belt can be hard up against these machines there's plenty of space for like a, a side um, unload thing which is what we'll do and I guess my idea is to put all of this into a warehouse and just have the warehouse effectively act as the big sorter uh, like so somewhere in the middle and we can have the mud because we need we actually need a bit more mud now so I can run the mud directly off and all the geodes out separately as well um, and then we'll need a collection down at the bottom but we are pretty much um, Oh, and yeah, we'll do the processing off to the side and have that come back down as well. Um, but having said that, we are pretty close to time. Um, this is still going strong, so... <laughs> given that it's been able to catch up only because the factory has stopped doing anything, uh, we really do need this facility, so... Yeah, I guess in the next episode, 